Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Neil, host of Rider Guider. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I've been accessorizing for the T7 again. Um, let me have a quick look around the bike. I'll show you what I've bought. Now, if I just angle this, you'll notice here, I'll just get this camera just right. This is the rear view camera and this is a product from Inov, it's the K3. I'll put a link up to a gentleman, uh, name escapes me, he's on the YouTube, he's done an install for these and review on the product, really good. So I ended up buying one, I got it on the Black Friday deals, got a good discount. And um, that's the, uh, the rear camera, I've had a good fit of that. The front camera, again, very subtle. Basically, it's not gonna replace so much the, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's not going to replace the standard gear that I use for the channel, but it will give me constant recording, dash and everything, so that's pretty good. Dash, dash cam type footage front and rear. Uh, it's 1080, 30, so it'll be reasonably good quality. It's also got a microphone. I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how I've, how I've installed it. It'll be interesting to see how it records my audio as I'm riding along as well. Um, it's all on bike, so it should be interesting. Now, of course, whilst installing uh, such a, an item, the, the wiring itself is not difficult. Um, it's all plug and play. All you do is attach it to your battery and then uh, a, there's a yellow wire uh, that you attach to um, a switched live feed, um, either to um, an always on your horn or whatever, whatever basically goes live when you flick your ignition on. Now, panels off, install it, panels on, jobs are good. And now, one of the nice accessories I'll show you, a part of the Inov kit, is this. Now, that is the, um, basically the control from your handlebars. As you can see, you can mount it on your mirror. Now, spot the deliberate mistake. You'll notice I've only got one mirror. So, what happened is, basically, if I just stand you there Mr. Uh, camera I'll show you here this is how you remove your adventure mirrors when you've got these which are the double tape mirrors sorry the ram mounted and you just angle it that turn it up and you actually undo them by twisting your mirror I'm not going to do it on this one because it's already installed here now the right hand thread on here so the right hand mirror mount is actually left hand thread so to undo it, you'd go clockwise. When I installed it, I don't know why, I ended up putting thread lock on the actual item. And I've just put it in my pocket somewhere. So I was going to install it on this side, the switch gear. So I went for it, angled it like I showed you there on my mirror, started turning it and Obviously, I'm turning it as if I'm tightening it, but it's actually right, left on thread. So I'm going clockwise, and it's sheared off the adapter. And it's left in here, unfortunately, that basically broke off. Now, this, of course, is all my brake fluid reservoir, etc. It's all one piece. I swore, of course, as you would. So I'm in a bit of a situation. I've got to try and now and remove it. Now, local engineering companies are all busy. I want to crack on with it. I went to my mechanic who services my, my vehicles, not the motorbike, but he's a good lad. He's only over the road and I says, have you got any tap and dies? He goes, the problem is if it's tap and die, you need it from the other side because it's going to screw it out because it's a long, wrong type thread. But it's because it's left hand thread, what we can do is do a hole punch and you could just have a go at drilling it very carefully. A bit nervous but to be perfectly honest I've no choice I want to try and get it out so what he's done is lend me his hole punch his, his center punch it's really cool you don't even need a hammer it just does it itself and I've put I've managed to get a dead center hole I don't know whether the camera will pick it up on here we've centered it with a center punch the glue sorry the Loctite thread I'm hoping will actually heat up and melt a little bit. It would be good if it did. I'm going to start with a very small drill and we're going to try and 
drill this out and hopefully that can then be replaced by the ones that I've already ordered from Rally Raid. I've ordered basically a new one of these. They do a non-aluminium one. It's a CNC machined version of that. That's in the post. It's been I ordered it yesterday morning in the early hours and that will be coming. I'm going to have to try and drill it out and I'm a bit nervous. Right, so of course we need to wear a bit of protection. Doing all these uh, little iron filings going all over the top of the bike <coughs> and into the shenanigans. So let's see how we go. Nice and steady now. I'm not sure it's this, the right thing to do. I'm going to try and run a very fine pilot drill through it. I'm a bit nervous. Uh, I'll just do a bit at a time. I won't get it on slow mode. I'm just going to try and. The problem with using a very, very fine drill, of course, if it's at risk of breaking and it break off inside, it makes it even harder. So that's the concern here. I'm just going to line it up with the the centre point, the centre punched hole, and go from there. Let's give it a go. With it being aluminium, it should be too hard to drill. I hope, but. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm more scared about breaking the. I'm more scared about breaking the drill off in in the hole. Just make sure I'm not collecting any crap where I don't want it. Ooh. So I feel like I'm going in quite deep there, but. I haven't really gone in that far yet, as the actress said to the bishop. As, as you can possibly see, I'm getting quite a bit of progress there. I've got all that filings coming now, I'm a bit nervous. I haven't gone in that far, I've only gone in about three mil. Oh, I nearly broke it, then it bent. It's about keeping an even pressure so you don't end up blunting the drill piece, the drill bit. And not putting too much pressure on. About five or six mil there. I think I've gone as far as that thread goes. <laughs> Probably not, I reckon I've got another couple of mil yet. My worst nightmare. What did I say I didn't want to do? Let's break off that drill bit. Bollocks. What a tit. I talk about being impatient and not going too hard and not going and then end up breaking it off. So I've got a drill bit broken off in there now. Knob jockey. Uh, what to do? <coughs> I'd gone far enough with the small drill bit. I could have gone bigger at that point. I don't know why I was trying to drill all the way to the bottom. What a tit. Right, okay. Mm. I have to change tack, see what I can do. Right, so at this stage, I'm going to have to go out with a bit, of, bit bigger drill and just see if I can get it to spin out. I've got no chance of getting that into there. Um, I fecked it, haven't I? problem I've got if I start drilling with a bigger drill I need some small smaller drills to get around the edge of that that one that I've broke off get that out and then go with a bigger drill what a bell end right so being a dick I've really caught this up haven't I breaking a, a drill piece off inside the middle of there just right down the middle so what I'm gonna have to do to work it 
to make it work. If you look at that now, I'm hoping you can see that. I'm just getting the right spot. I'm going to have to go for another drill. Uh, well, I suppose at every quarter, so I'm going to have to go at 9, 12, 3 and 6 o'clock, just 3 or 4 mil deep on each side of it, in the hope that I can get some pliers, needle nose pliers to the centre and bring that broken drill bit out. It might actually work it work. Let's give it a go. Okay. Nervous times. I'm not sure this is going to work without damaging the thread either side. I've got an eighth drill bit. You can already feel it slightly clouting that side one. Yeah, I should have gone for a smaller drill bit than that, I think maybe. That's an eighth. Obviously, I've got to be careful I'm not damaging the thread. On the edge for the original threads. I'm not sure this is going to work. Not bad. Jesus. Holy moly. Have to be a little bit ruthless. I'm remembering what happened last time. I obviously <laughs> Gotta be careful I don't break this next drill bit off in the middle. <laughs> See at the moment I'm just taking aluminium out which is good, it's the aluminium of the actual thread that's broken off in there, it's not anything else. Hmm. I wonder if I could get a screwdriver in there. If I can get a go across there. It's in now. What I've created there is a potential put a screwdriver in and turn it that will be a bonus let's give that a whirl right put some lube in just get a bit more holy shit it's working oh, come on baby holy moly moly come on Heck yeah, that is a win. There's a lesson learned here. Let's have a look inside that hole. And look, I've managed to have very minimal damage to the threads here. So just wipe that out. I've got a little bit of scarring on the edge. But let's have a look around the inside of that. There's plenty of thread there. That is a result. Right, two weeks later, I've had a delivery and I'm quite excited and I'm the sort of guy that gets excited when I get nice things. It's a bit of bling. I'm gonna compare these two items here. Now, I went on Facebook getting advice on in relation to actually removing this and a gentleman called John commented, he says, we do these and I went, who's we? Um, turns out it's John and he owns Rally Raid and he, he says this is why we make these because these are crap. Um, so I ordered them and I, as I said I've ordered two. I've got the right hand side and the left hand side adapter. The adapter on the left hand mirror is a right hand thread as you'd expect which is that one and uh, what, the reason I bought both is so it evens up the height of the mirrors. Now the quality as you can see 
is like chalk and cheese. I'm very pleased with these new items. They are beautiful. I've brought other items from Rally Raid in relation to the T7 uh, tool for removal and refit of the wheels. Uh, I've also bought the wheel spacers and they are of a similar quality. Very nice things. So by all means, check out Rally Raid's uh, website and look up T7 stuff and whatever bike you've got, they pre pretty much do a lot of things for, for motorbikes and other brands as well. So we're gonna fit it all back together and, uh, and I'll be happy. M my bike's complete again. It's been a bit of a bind fastening my mirrors on to crash bars and stuff for the last couple of weeks so I could have a decent rear view. So I'm looking forward to getting it all back together. Let's do it. Okay. Let's get them fitted. Now, this is the uh, reason why I've had to do all this. This is the Innov uh, remote control or controller for the camera. So this is why I ended up breaking it off on this side and swapped it to this side. So we've got the, let's have a look at that. That's the uh, right hand thread, left hand mount there. It's gonna raise the, the shenanigans. So the mirrors are all at the same height. We'll have a 15 mil spanner. Just needs a nip, that's all it needs. We'll do this side. And here is where I solve all my problems. We're going to install also a camera mount for the Insta360. Now, it feels very odd. Always anti clockwise to tighten, but. That's where we're at. So what I'm going to do now is just give that a nip up there. I've got the mount for the camera. At this point now, we're going to tighten this. So this is back to right hand thread. Now we do this by way of attaching the mirrors. Because this ball is tightened by this arm. So what we'll do, we'll put that on there. Put that on there. Tighten it all up and it gives us a bit of a leverage to tighten up. Now, of course, we're going to tighten it up. Nice tight there, but I don't, when I tighten this up, of course, the potential is to untighten that, so I'm gonna to loosen that off. So I'm gonna hold that spanner there and just give that a bit of a nip. And that's tight. Then what we'll do, set up the mirrors. We'll adjust them when we get out shortly. My life will, of course, now be complete because I'm back to using my mirrors properly rather than having, I've had to do all sorts recently in relation to mounting my mirror on my engine guards. And I'm back to normal now. Very happy to have these back on and running. And uh, that is the job done. It's been a bit, of a bit of a journey as that, and a good experience. Thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next one.